as promised let's shoot for solving the weekly contest 281 and the first question in the list is count integers with even digit sum here in this question we are given a positive integer n and we need to identify the count of those positive integers that are less than equal to n whose sum of digits happens to be even in nature here they have provided us with few examples for example here nums happens to be 4 that means we will check the numbers starting from 1, 2, 3 and 4. If their sum of digits happens to be of even value, then we will add it to our answer result. Otherwise, we will ignore it. Here in this case, there are only two such numbers, 2, 4. As a result of which, the output turns out to be 2. Here they have provided us with another example. I will be walking through these examples as well as an interesting approach by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. So let's get started. And let me just take a pen. Count integers with even digits. Lead code 2180. Part of the weekly contest. So the brute force method is pretty simple and straightforward. You are given an integer n. What do you do? You start the iteration from i equals to 1 up till i equals to n using a for loop. And you check the sum of digits of i. If it happens to be even in nature, then you increment your total count variable. Otherwise, you simply ignore it. No rocket science. Pretty simple and straightforward. The naive approach that comes to everybody's mind. However, can we do something better than this? The answer is yes. How? Let's try an understanding few test cases. Let's assume the value of n happens to be 10. What will be the integers whose sum happens to be of even value that are less than 10? There are four such integers. 2, 4, 6 and 8. Let's walk through another test case. Let's assume the value of n happens to be 20 and let's look out for those integers whose sum happens to be even. What will be those 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20. In totality, there are 10 such integers. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is the value 30. So what will be those integers? 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. In totality, there are 14 such integers. So can you draw inferences between these two test cases? Yes, we can. The approach is simple. What do you do? You calculate the total sum of the element that are there in your input number. For example, what is the total sum here? So the uh, number happens to be 10. 10. The uh, total sum happens to be 1. Is it odd in nature or even in nature? It happens to be odd in nature. And since it's odd in nature, what we can do, we can use this number. Uh, this number happens to be 10. So 10 minus 1 by 2 will give you the answer. What is it? 10 minus 1 by 2. n minus 1 by 2, which would be equal to 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 by 2 is 4, which is as expected. Let's walk through the other case where we have 20 as the value of n. Uh, let's calculate the total sum of elements that exist. Uh, it would be equal to 2. So does it happen to be even in nature or odd in nature? It is even in nature. And this time we'll use the formula n by 2. What is the value of n? n happens to be 20. 20 by 2 happens to be 10. Which is in sync with our expectation and we'll simply return the result as 10. Let's walk through the third test case where we have the number as 30. So what is the total sum of elements that exist in 30? It happens to be 3. It is odd in nature since it's odd in nature we'll use the other formula n minus 1 by 2 what is the value of n n happens to be 30 30 minus 1 happens to be 29 29 by 2 happens to be 14 which is in sync with our expectation and this will give us the result i know it's slightly difficult to analyze it during the interviews most of you will would have gone by the first approach but this is what the other approach also does exist which i wanted to highlight to conclude it further let's walk through the coding section and here I have coded it up using the first approach first. And here I created a counter variable i equals to 1 till i is less than equal to nums. I have created a helper method that gives me the sum of the digits. And I pass an i to it. If it happens to be even in nature, I increment my count variable. In the end, I simply return the count. Now comes the question, how do I identify sum of digits? So s equals to nums plus the empty part. And uh, it would be equal to uh, for char c, s dot to char r a. I simply calculate it using this formula. We have done it plenty of times in the past and I simply return the sum variable. Let's try this up. Accepted. 
let's walk through the second approach what do i do i create a temporary variable uh, which will actually store my nums value and i have created some variable so i iterate through the uh, nums and i keep on calculating what is the sum in the end i think if my sum happens to be even in nature then i simply return 10 by 2 otherwise i return 10 minus 1 by 2 again simple and straightforward let me just uncomment it and let me just comment this up time to submit it uh oh something looks wrong here now it's fine accepted this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye